Well, hello there, my sexy lady. How you doing today? It's Chris here. And what we're going to do today is we're going to talk a little bit about how to get quicker experience in the game, what all the experience means, and then, of course, just have some fun and play some games. So, I think the number one thing that uh, I want to talk about is uh, the fact that experience is pretty hard to get, if you guys haven't realized. Um... So talk about the new update, by the way. Within the new update, uh, basically by playing games, you earn experience, and you use that experience to unlock different balloon boosts, new tower boosts, and then also uh, new road items over here, or just upgrade your current setup already. So it gets really intriguing going into the depths of all the different upgrades that you can get, and after you, after all is said and done, um, it's gonna take you. It's gonna take. I don't even know exactly how long it's gonna take me, man. But uh, to get all the things unlocked, playing at a standard rate, at a, a standard way of playing the game, we're talking about probably a year or more to unlock all these things. So it's not gonna be easy to do. So we want to know is when. How do we get faster experience? Sadly, there's no magical trick to just be like. I'm gonna earn a five billion experience per game. No, it doesn't work that way. But there are some tips or tricks that you can keep in mind to at least start to unlock these things. Get the first level, maybe the second level unlocked, so you can now start winning more games, getting better, and of course, having a, 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 a fun time right here. So first and foremost, play games that are very uh, that you're gonna win quickly. So right now, what I'm playing is I'm playing a random trio. Right? And in a, in a random trio, guess what? People usually get crappier towers. Guess what you usually win on? Round 12, round 13, maybe if you're crazy going to round 18. Most people can't defend Moabs, though. So go for, go and play these weirder random trio levels and have people lose to you like this. And then guess what? I earn the same amount of experience no matter uh, how many games or no matter how fast the game was. The game can last. I can beat him on round 2, and I'm still going to get the same amount of experience as if I beat him on round 2. 73. Uh, a 4-minute game versus a 50-minute game. You're going to get the same experience, guys. So go for it. I, I think so. You know, maybe there's like a couple experience discrepancy there, but it's it's like basically the same thing. It seems like it's pretty much random what kind of experience you get. Um, but the way the experience works is that you get uh, experience separately for each one of the three bubbles on the top. So if you look at the bubble on top, you can get uh, experience for balloons, you can get experience for road items, and you get experience for um, the battle energy, is what I normally call it, or monkey boosts, I guess. Um, and then there's also something called universal experience. A lot of people are a little bit confused on what the universal experience actually does and how it works. But, uh, you know, you can't mix and match your experience. If you, uh, you know, get, you know, 500 experience for each, you can't just say, well, I'm going to spend the 1500 experience all on balloons. It doesn't work that way. You've got to spend them all individually and sort of level them up uh, sort of equally. But... There's also the universe, universal experience aspect of the game, and it earns much slower than all the rest of them. But what you can do with universal experience is then, well, spend it on anything. It's it's the the random experience, whatever the heck you want, man. If you're if you're if you're down a, uh, you know, you've got 2,400 blue experience, but you've got to buy the next level for 2,500. Use 100 universal experience, and boom, you can buy that thing. In fact, what I did was I was actually down 100 on all three of my second tier uh, uh, boosts, and guess what I did? I just used 100 experience on each one of them, and I bought them all. So that's the way you want to use universal experience. Honestly, if you want to, if you're just really edging towards getting a third tier or a fourth tier or something like that, just save up all your universal experience for one certain upgrade and spend it up. That can increase the power of your gameplay by a lot. By a lot, guys. So this, th these are game-changing, though. Uh, they, they really do change the game in their entirety. It's, it's ne Battles is never going to be the same with what we're currently seeing here. It's not a new game mode. It is part of the game. So everybody has to deal with this in battle arenas and regular arenas and everything. Uh, so we've got to get used to it. And we got to learn how to get the experience and uh, play, play with all these things. I'm not going to talk too much about uh, which balloon energy is, which monkey boosts, and which road spikes you should pick road items you should pick, but I will say so far, I've really liked the glue. Uh, the Boab 
blued boost is really solid, but also the third tier top path blued boost is actually really, really interesting. Really helps out for early game, and in fact, if you get that thing going, you can increase your fast wins. So that's what I want to do. I want to get the top path balloon boost upgrade. What it does is it makes the uh, next two uh, uh, up until white balloons. It can increase the tier uh, by uh, increase the balloon tier by two. So a uh, blue balloon will turn into a yellow. A white balloon will turn into a rainbow. You know, uh, I believe uh, black balloon, pink balloons turn into zebras. Like, you know, that it's that's it's insane how fast you can get these these tiers to increase. So if you could send out you can send out zebras on round four. You know, it's it, that's the crazy thing that I'm talking about here, guys. So just get used to it at least a little bit. Alright. But uh uh what I'm doing is of course I'm being aggressive. Alright, if you're trying to earn fast experience, you've gotta be aggressive over here. I'm gonna be doing these weird, crazy rushes on round uh uh, 7 and 8, I'm going to do them on round 10 and 11, I'm going to do them on round 13. I've got to get a decent defense on my side, of course. Decent enough, where I can use my road spikes, my glue, my battle energies, and everything to keep things going. But be aggressive. If I ever see a, a little bit of weakness in Camelettes, I don't just do Camelettes, I do Camelettes with Zebras underneath. Because then, if he ends up losing some lives to these things, he loses the game! And we can take down again! Another round 13 win right there, baby. And that's another big chunk of experience for us, right? And uh, here's the last game of the day here, guys. Uh, we're playing just normal battle arena over here, but it's going to be the same thing, man. Try and win quickly. Be aggressive with your gameplay. So, uh, just to kind of recap really quick, what are the best ways to earn experience? Well, win games quickly, number one. Number two, play game modes that you're going to hopefully win quickly. And... Uh, I actually kind of want to talk, uh, just touch on that at least a little bit for some of you newer players. If you really don't know what the, the, the best game modes are for, you know, quicker experience, I would say for sure number one is random trio. A lot of players don't know how to play with random towers. And even if both of you guys do, they might not be good enough to actually help you beat round 13 and stuff. You know, and sometimes it's best to just do that gigantic reach and rainbow rush on round 13 and just overwhelm your opponent. Uh, speed battles is not that bad either. Uh, speed battles usually makes people die to pink balloons because you send out pink balloons on round 2 and stuff. And if you, oh my god, dude, just imagine if you're playing speed battles and you've got that, that, uh, that two tier balloon bonus where you can make. Uh, zebra balloons come out on round, was it one or two? I, I, it's absolutely insane, man. Ridiculous. Or even, you could send out blues on round like two, you could send out yellows on round two. Like, that is ridiculous. There's like no way normal people can defend that kind of stuff, you know? So, uh, just thinking about that is kind of interesting. Uh, then you can play, uh, things I wouldn't really recommend too much are fire battles and mega boosts. Uh, the problem with, with fire battles is that, you know, you, you send out, you both get send up balloons against each other, so, like, sometimes you can just overwhelm people with group balloons, but most players know what they're doing in, in the fire battles, so they know to buy grouped popping power, right? They know to buy something that's going to be able to pop all the group balloons, and then, um, you know, uh, the problem is, is that you get double income, or 1.5 times income for that, so usually by the time you get to around, like, 13 or so, you have, like, 1,000, 1,500 income, you're going to get 3,000 income by round 18, it's going to go late game, so if any game in fire battles ever goes... Uh, you know, pass around like 18 or so, it's probably going late game, most likely. And most players are going to pick towers that, you know, relate to that. Ninjas and, and ice towers and stuff to slow everything down, and then a ton of group popping power with monkey aces and crap. Um, and then also, here's my last tip, guys. Play only slightly below your level. Alright? Do not... Okay, so if you're normally playing BFB Coliseum, Moab Pit, play in the Ceramic Crucible. If you're normally playing Ceramic Crucible, play in Rainbow Runes. If you're normally playing Rainbow Runes, go down to the, you know, the Lead Dungeon or whatever. And the reason why, okay, let me explain why really quick. The reason why you want to do this is because, uh, a lot of players are probably going to want to go down and play in the Yellow dun in the yellow Dungeon or whatever the heck that thing's called, the, the lowest arena over here. A lot of players do this because they're trying to earn fast experience. So don't just go down to the lowest one you can go to. Oh crap, he's down to five lives right here. Can we take him down? He improved boost right there. And he does defend for now. But will he defend at my secondary rush, man? 
Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Maybe not. So don't go all the way down to the lowest arena that you can go to. Play just slightly below your level, so you're going to win more games than you normally do. So here we go. We're going to go for a letter. So he's got glue over there, though. All right, here we go, guys. We're going leads. We're going pinks. He's going to glue a lot of these pinks over here. Still going to be hard to defend that, though. We need five lives to go through. Can we sneak him through? And we do, baby. We take him down. So those are my tips for fast experience. Uh, if it helps, make sure you press that like button for me. Subscribe. And, of course, have a super duper delicious day.